This is question number 19 of exercise 5.1 from the chapter continuity and differentiability. And uh, the question is like this, show that the function defined by gx is discontinuous at all integral points. Here x written in the square bracket denotes the greatest integer less than or equal to x. So gx is equal to x minus greatest integer less than or equal to x. And we have to show that the function is discontinuous at all integral points. So what does this mean? This means that uh, if we take any integer and check the continuity at this point, integer we mean that uh, 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on. So if we take any integer and check the continuity at this point, so we are going to find that the function is discontinuous at all integral points. That is for any integer value, the function would be, function gx would be discontinuous. Okay, so we have been given this function, let k be any integer, if gx is continuous at x is equal to k. So we assume that k is an integer and uh, if uh, gx is going to be continuous for any integer, then uh, left hand limit and right hand limit should be equal at x is equal to k. Okay, so left hand limit when x tends to k would be equal to limit of x tends to k negative of gx would be equal to limit of x tends to 0 of g of k minus h and this would be equal to limit of x tends to 0 of k minus h minus greatest integer value of k minus h. Now k minus h would be a value less than k and the integer which would be less than k minus h uh, would be equal to k minus 1. Okay. For example, if k is equal to 3 and we are subtracting a, a value, a finite value from uh, 3, so we are going to get a number less than 3. Okay, so in this manner, the value would be 2.99 something. Okay, so greatest integer value of 3 minus h would be equal to 2. So similarly, greatest integer value of k minus h would be a number less than k that would be equal to k minus 1. So this would be equal to limit of h tends to 0 of k minus h minus k minus 1 and on applying the limit this would be equal to k minus 0 minus k minus 1. This k and k cancel out and we get this value as equal to 1. Okay. So right hand limit if we are going to calculate would be done in a similar manner and this would be equal to limit of x tends to k positive of g minus x uh, of g of x sorry. And this would be equal to limit of h tends to 0 of g, g of k plus h and this would be equal to limit of h tends to 0 of k plus h minus greatest integer value of k plus h. So if k is equal to again 3 then k plus h would be equal to 3 point something so its greatest integer value would be equal to 3. So in the similar manner greatest integer value of k plus h would again be equal to k and on a uh, okay so we write for this value equal to k and this would be equal to limit of uh, this k and k can be cancelled and limit of h tends to 0 of of h would be equal to 0. Okay, so this means that left hand limit is equal to 1, right hand limit is equal to 0. So left hand limit is unequal to right hand limit. So this proves that gx is not continuous at all integral point because we have taken k to be any integer. Okay, so that's how we are going to solve this question. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.